what's up welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Jamie B thanks for stopping by so in today's video I'm going to be doing two hauls this is massive I know I'm going to be showing you guys what I got from Ulta and I'm going to be showing you guys what I got from TJ Maxx I don't feel like I've done like a big haul in a while so I decided to kind of combine them and just have like lots of fun opening up lots of new fun goodies I'm so excited about so if you're excited to see what I got from Ulta and TJ Maxx then go ahead and keep watching Woo! all right so I tried something different again with my lighting we're just work with me the next couple of videos throughout the weeks are going to be different because I'm trying new things with my lighting I might be getting new lighting I don't really know I don't really know do you guys prefer more dim videos if that makes sense like more like not as bright or do you prefer like boom bright in your face videos let me know down below so let's get into these let's get into these so we're gonna do Ulta first I have been saving my Ulta points so I put it on, I think, my Instagram, and I also put it on my community tab. I'm going to be saving my points, and I'm going to be doing a humongous haul at the end of the year. Like, humongous. Um, with all of my points saved. So currently, I have $184 in points. So, I'm excited. I started that last month, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to do this. So this is my Ulta bag. Okay. And let's go in here. Okay. So... The first thing that I got was the Filter Effect Brush and Sponge Duo by Morphe. This is for their new foundation. And I was really excited to try this. And <laughs> I'm laughing and you're gonna see why I'm laughing in a second uh, because I'm an idiot. But so I got that. So this cost me $18 for both the brush and the sponge. Now, if you're not new to my channel or maybe you just don't like notice, um, I have stated quite a few times this is all jacked up because of that plastic, but it's like slanted. That's actually really nice to apply foundation. I'm excited. This feels nice. This feels luxe. I'm not gonna lie. I really like this. So if you're not new here, like I was saying, I hate, <laughs> hate, and that's a big word for me because I try not to like carry that energy. I hate the Morphe sponges, the red ones. Jeffree Star's collab. I don't like them. I don't like how they feel. They're way too hard no matter what and people are like well maybe you got a bad one and I rebought them and <laughs> they're just really stiff. So um, I don't choose to foundation my face with a rock um, so I pass on those. So I was kind of like nervous about getting this one but people say that it feels different so I'm really excited. Also PSA um, I'm sick. <laughs> The kids were sick last week and I was like, cool, I didn't get it, cool, and now I'm sick. So if you see me drinking this, I have tea and lemon and honey in here and I probably will be drinking that throughout the video, which I try not to do, but unfortunately with my throat, I can't help it if I'm gonna be talking and filming for hours. And then the next thing is my hair, if I keep messing with it, it's because my daughter had me do a middle part today. <laughs> a middle part and it's like, this is not me. Like I've been side part since birth, side part. Okay, so I'm trying it. She's like my little stylist when I get ready for my filming and um, this is what she chose for me. So here we are. Uh, the reason I laughed is because that duo also comes with a makeup sponge. <laughs> I guess I didn't read it. I thought it was just the brush. So I bought my own makeup sponge. Uh, so now I have two makeup sponges. So hopefully I like them. I'm not going to open this one. I'm going to try this first. And if I don't care for it, I will put it in a giveaway because someone else might care for it. This is the micro fiber beauty sponge. I will tell you, this is actually a lot softer. Like this is soft. So I like that it's flat on both sides and then it's also flat here. So you can really get it into underneath your eye and around your edges. I like that a lot. It does seem really, really soft. So I'm kind of excited for that. And we're gonna have to see how it works. Maybe I'll use it on a makeup video at some point in time. And then I'm not gonna open this one, but I also got the sponge by itself, which was $10. I'm gonna save it just in case I don't like it. I can give it to someone else who might. So the next thing I got was the e.l.f. CC, the Camo CC cream. I actually did a review on e.l.f. products and I'll go ahead and link that up here for you. The reason I got this one, I got it in a shade, in a very, very light shade. This is Fair 120 which is not my shade but the shade that I got was too dark I figured I would get a shade that is lighter and then I can just 
you know, mix it, match it, make it my perfect skin because I really, really did enjoy this foundation. So I was excited to get that. And then that was $14. So it's more expensive at Ulta than it is at Walmart. Hmm, weird. So I got more brushes. <laughs> I am like a fanatic of brushes and lately I've been doing like a lot of my makeup with brushes even my concealer and foundation so I decided to get some more brushes this is the M406 by Morphe it is the duo fiber foundation brush and I decided that I was gonna try it because I haven't used one like this in a long time so I really wanted to get that so that brush was $10 and then I also got the M707 in the oval foundation brush which was $7 and this is basically just for me to apply my foundation and then buff it in. So I was excited to get this one too. I just did a huge Morphe haul and I will link that one for you guys. And then following along with the whole Morphe situation, I got the new filter effect. This was actually my main goal in the store. I got it in a medium 13, but I think it might be too light for my skin tone. You can't try anything still because of the pandemic, but... I did my best, but it looks really, really, really light in the package. It could be that it's frosted. And this was $20. So no, it might be okay. We'll see. If anything, I'll get a shade up and then I'll have a winter shade and I will have a summer shade. So I'll be trying this one soon for you guys too. So keep a lookout on that. This is their new foundation. Surprisingly, I knew about this foundation before they even mentioned it because Ulta accidentally sent me a sample of this foundation before Morphe had even mentioned it. So I was like, wait a minute. I was like, Morphe has a new foundation? And then literally two or three weeks later, they launched it and I was like, oh, Ulta. <laughs> so the next thing I got was the NYX Professional Marshmallow Primer. And this was $17. Okay, so when did NYX, a drugstore brand, get so expensive? Oh my gosh. So the reason I picked this up is because I've been wanting to try it. It was also a very TikTok like thing, a viral thing. So I decided to pick it up and give it a try and I'm gonna try it out. I'm excited to try it out, but I'm kind of curious as to why a drugstore brand would be $17 for a primer. So maybe one day I will do a TikTok made me buy video and just show you all the crazy things that I've bought solely because of TikTok because I think that will be fun. So the next items I got are all one brand. So I'd heard of them and I never really bought anything from this brand. And then Nikita Dragon did like this collab or campaign for them. It's Truly, by the way, the brand is Truly. And then I kind of went right down a rabbit hole because it was like, <laughs> she did like, there's like a cream for your boobs and there's a cream for your butt. And I really wasn't interested in either of those because I don't, I feel like my boobs and my butt are plenty soft. Uh, I don't know, just by, you know, Dove moisturizer. I don't know, but if you need extra supple, soft boobies and butts, they have it. Um, but I just was like, I'm not paying that kind of money for that. But I went down a rabbit hole and they have like so much other stuff. And I was like, oh, I need that, I need that, I need that. And then I was like, I don't wanna buy that right now. So I didn't buy it at that point and I didn't know that Ulta carried them. And when I went in there, I saw the whole stand and I was like, oh my gosh. So I went through and I got a bunch of items that I wanted to try. So the first thing is the Lip Plumping Serum. Gloat is what it's called. Gloat by Truly. Greatest lips of all time. So this has organic aloe and hyaluronic acid in it. It's vegan, clean, high performing, animal cruelty free, fresh, real, harsh, chemi chemical free. So it's basically just a lip serum to plump your lips. And we're gonna try it right now because why the freak not? Let's see if this works. Let's see if it works. How much was she? Oh my God, it was $16. Okay, well, let's see. What are the directions? Rub the serum onto lips throughout the day for plump, hydrated lips. It's supposed to really hydrate, and that's why I got it, because I read that it was really, really good for hydrating, but it also plumps. Don't touch the applicator, especially because I'm sick. Oh, shoot. Oh, well. All right, so I'm just rubbing it all over my lips. And there's dry crevices. I had the worst dry lips on the face of the earth, okay? Like, <laughs> ever. So let's see, as we're talking, if anything goes down. I don't feel any, like, tingling or anything. So the next thing that I got was the Gloat by Truly which is the luscious lip butter in peppermint and hyaluronic acid i did see this on their website as well and i was like oh my god i need to try this because it looks so good first of all that looks so pretty and so cool oh i'm trying to smell and it smells like mint chocolate that smells really nice let's touch it 
Ew, it's hard. Why is it hard? I guess I'll put it over this. That doesn't seem to be doing anything. Oh, that like melted on contact. Oh, I like that. I like how that feels. I like how it looks. And I also like how it smells like it. If you have small children, um, PSA, keep this away from them because it does smell and look like ice cream or pudding. So just, just helping y'all out. But the one thing I will say is I don't like that their products don't come with a seal. So anybody at Ulta can literally open these up and touch them and mess with them. Like none of it, none of this came sealed. It's just like this on the counter. And I'm just like, ugh. So the next thing I got was the Mary Jane CBD Glow Serum. So this is what it looks like. It is pink and it's in this pretty glass jar. So the lip butter was 14. I forgot to tell you guys that. But the face serum was $30. So it looks really pretty. Let's see how she smells. Oh, it smells really good. So it's 100 milligrams of CBD, vitamin A, cannabis, sativa, caffeine, and glycolic acid boost. Okay. After cleansing and toning, apply five, four to five drops to dry face, neck, and chest before other skincare. We're gonna do it now because why, why wouldn't we? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's nice and cooling. Oh, it smells pretty. I like how it smells. It is not like really fragranced where it's super strong, but it smells really pretty. Mama light. It smells almost like, this is gonna sound really weird, but like my, my daughter's baby soap, like Johnson and Johnson, that's what this smells like. I like how this feels. Does it look like I'm, I'm glowing? Does it look like I'm glowing? Am I glowing? I don't know, but it smells like, um, I don't know. It smells like baby stuff. It smells really good. So the last thing that I got was also from Truly and it is the Mary Jane CBD Glow Mask. This has 200 milligrams of CBD, vitamin A, cannabis sativa, caffeine, and glycolic acid boost. I think it goes along with this. So anything with the word glow on it, I want to try. And this was $38. And again, like if you look, see there's no seal. So anyone could have just went or like and then closed it back up. Do you know? It just freaks me out. It smells so good though. It's like jelly. It's runny though. So I don't want to um, spill it. It reminds me of the purple ooze from the original Power Rangers movie. Ugh, if you are old enough to know what that is, then you know what I'm saying. Ladies and gentlemen, the ooze is back. Oh my God, it smells so good. So I'm gonna rub it on my hand cause it's a mask. It isn't just like a rub in. So it does definitely look glowy. I'm thinking it's probably like a night, like you wear it overnight. Directions. After toning and cleansing skin, apply to entire face and let it sit on skin until absorbed. Mask does not need to be washed off. Oh, we're gonna put it on our face then. What are we doing? What are we doing? We're gonna put it on our face. What? Okay. So I'm gonna be. I thought it was like one of those like sleeping masks and then you gotta put it, you know, you have to wash it off. It doesn't have to be washed off so then. <laughs> We're gonna put it on. Oh, this feels nice. Oh, I like how it feels and it smells so good. It smells like berries almost. It smells so fruity and so good. Oh my God. And it feels really nice, especially like even around my eczema. It's not giving me any irritating. By the way, that lip serum has not tingled one time. So I'm not really certain how it's plumping or doing anything like that. And my lips also don't look any different. So. When they feel very nice. Um, they feel really, really soft, but they don't, they're definitely not doing anything crazy plumping wise. But this I like, like my face doesn't feel sticky. I'm letting it obviously 100% absorb, but it feels hydrated, like instant hydration. I really, really like this. So I really, I enjoyed that. I like that stuff. I might have to look into this brand. If there's anything from Truly that you guys recommend, just go ahead and comment down below and let me know. I'm really, really into it. I know that they have like a super, super like viral popular um, unicorn body butter. I didn't buy that because I just, I'm very, my skin is very sensitive, especially my body skin. So I can't just throw anything on. So I'm just very like, eh. I'm gonna pass on that. But I'm excited for these new items. I like them a lot. I'm really excited. So we're gonna move on to TJ Maxx. <laughs> Let me tell you. I got makeup removing wipes, which I know like a couple months ago I said I would never buy again. 
I need these for my hands and stuff when I'm doing videos because I find that like my hands get really gross and like um, foundation-y and whatever and I don't want to use like um, hand sanitizer wipes because those dry your hands out really really bad so I've been I bought these just so I can use them because I get really kind of like eh about my hands being dirty like I really freak out about it I don't like it I got those and they were $4.99 for two packs the next thing I got was the Dr. Jart shot shaken shot I don't know I saw these before and I never got one and then my daughter's like oh we should get some of these and I was like all right I'll get one and then she got some too I don't I she also got some stuff at Ulta um and TJ Maxx but I let her have her stuff I didn't want to hold it until I filmed it but basically it's a face mask two of them you mix them in this cup and then you apply it to your face and then you just wash it off or peel it off so I don't know which one I got though this one is double trans booster and then luminous liquid ample I, ample ample I don't know but it was only $6.99 so these two things that I got <laughs> So remember that powder I got and I paid $40 for it and it was 10 grams? Yeah, you remember that, Becca? I remember that. I went to TJ Maxx and TJ Maxx had an entire box of that powder for $9.99. I got both of these, each one for $9.99, legitimately. And I'm not going to open them because I went, no, I didn't. Oh my God. I'm an idiot and I can't take these back so I'm gonna have to find someone who can use these um so <laughs> uh, they did have them there for $9.99 and I probably should have looked at the color and I'm gonna go back now and get my shade but I accidentally got golden bronze so I might actually be able to use this over the rest of my face instead of setting it doesn't seem too too dark but um yeah this is definitely uh definitely not my shade definitely not my shade but they had a bunch of them so I'm gonna go back and see if they have it because this one cost me $40 from Sephora um, my other one so this one right here and it is in there's no shade so I don't understand this one doesn't have a shade why does this one have a shade I thought it was all one it's not all one so I got this one right here for my under eye but I feel like I could use this one on my skin to set the rest of my face either way I really did like this powder I did like it but it cost way too much and it was a ripoff for $40 for 10 grams this is a 100% ripoff so when I found these for $9.99 I was super excited but one of them might actually go into my giveaway because I don't think I'm gonna use golden bronze uh we'll see I'll open one up and I'll use it but it just seems kind of too dark so but they are at TJ Maxx for $9.99 just don't be me pay attention to the label uh speaking of Becca I got this and I haven't bought anything from Becca in a long time well actually I did recently because of TikTok but prior to that I have not this is the Apris Ski Glow Face Palette I don't know what that means I think I'm saying that wrong I apologize so it is a highlighter face palette I will tell you I am kind of sad about Becca going out of business because I, I know that I say we forgot about them and we did they just weren't they they were ahead of their time and unfortunately are now kind of just like Eh, you know what I mean so they started the whole like highlighter game for me okay like I had almost all of their circle skin perfectors and oh my god I would wear them all the time but then all these other brands and more inexpensive brands and prettier formulas just came out and just kind of like that's what they were known for and I think they kind of just like went downhill after that so this is the so I'll never forget them is basically what I'm saying like I will always appreciate backup but unfortunately when they do stuff like this they charge you $40 for 10 grams of powder it's just kind of like I can get better powders that I like more like it's a good powder but I like more more powder for a the same exact cost or less so this is what the palette looks like and I'm going to try to show you this without blinding you this is it's very hard you can see my monitor this is the actual colors in the palette so it comes with six different colors and I'm trying to see what they are so we have rose quartz right here and then we have blushed copper opal which I actually still have in a circle container icicle winterberry and bronzed bondi so I think they're very pretty you have some blushes in here a little bit of bronzers and I figured it was like $19.99 so it was really nice and it's pretty and I was like I'm gonna eat it all right so the next thing I got was double gleam it is a MAC highlighter ooh, and I paid $16.99 for this which I think is still pretty expensive 
being at TJ Maxx, but I saw it and I really wanted it. I haven't bought a MAC highlighter in forever, like forever, forever. And I'm pretty sure I've actually given all mine away that I did have. So I just really, really liked it and it wasn't too expensive. And so I'm just gonna swatch it for you guys. Ooh, yes. Ooh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So $16.99 for that. And then the last thing I got was the Studio Fix powder. This is the NW33 and this was $12.99. How was a foundation cheaper than a highlighter? I don't know, but it is what it is. So this one, I like to use these to set all over my face. I still use these to set all over my face. This one is more of for my summertime situation. It is a little bit more tan. You can get the little powder thing in there, but um, I don't use it, so. But it's in there. Um, so it's just really nice to use. It's a really nice color, and I really, really love the formula. So I got that. Bought that. I'm really not excited about the Becca situation. But that is actually it for my haul, guys, for TJ Maxx. I did not get a lot of things um, makeup wise from there. I did get a lot of things for my son and my husband, but they have those things. Um, I got Steven, it's the massager gun. And it has little different attachments. It was like 50 bucks and it's like do, 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 do. so I don't have to like do this. I can just go do, 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 do. it's really fucking cool. Um, and then I got Nicholas some new clothes and stuff, the baby and Karen, some new toys. But other than that, that was kind of all I could find in TJ Maxx. For some reason, my TJ Maxx has really not replenished after the new year. Like usually they do the big clearances and then they move on and <laughs> they did they did not they, it's still it's still pretty empty so i actually found these items in a bin where they haven't put them out yet and i don't know that i'm supposed to touch those bins like they have them on the push out rack so if you work at tj maxx please tell me where they kind of leave them there and they use them and they like they store they stock the shelves but it's like in the bins um and my daughter's like madison's like i don't think you're supposed to touch those they haven't put them out yet i said well it doesn't say i can't touch them so if you work at TJ Maxx, let me know down below. Am I not supposed to be taking those things out before they're stocked on the shelves? Because I'll stop. Maybe. I might stop if I see people. <laughs> But that is it guys for today's video. I hope you like this huge haul. Let me know down below What was your favorite thing that I got? What do you want me to see me review for you on camera? What do you want to see me use? Let me know if you have recently been to TJ Maxx and some of the good things they have at your TJ Maxx And as always guys, if you did like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up Make sure you are subscribed to my channel I do six videos every single week and you do not want to miss out on those and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye